Howdy, everyone. Lost Theory here. We're back in action for more uh, reaction retraction. Attraction? <laughs> We're doing the attendees uh, showcase spring 2018. Wow, we just had one director to give us another right off the bat. That is super duper cool. Thank you, Nintendo. Uh, thank you, Indie Games, because you surprise me sometimes. You really do. I don't know what to actually expect from this, because we actually got uh, Travis, t uh, the No More Heroes thing, uh, last time, and here, I don't know what we could get now. I'm really confused. I'm kind of hoping for a Shantae game, and not just, like, a re-release of a Shantae game. Like, maybe a collection for the Switch or something like that, or maybe, like, another Shovel Knight, um, like, physical release or something, or, hmm. I honestly don't know what else I would really want. Like, maybe Undertale Physical for Switch? But I already have the PS4 version. I don't know. I just don't know what I want. I also like to see Wave Groove going like, yeah, it's finally releasing right now. Because that's like a really cool uh, advanced tactic RPG that I saw last time. And I, I still want to play that one. That, that one's still on my mind. But I don't know what to expect from Indies. I really don't. But I'm expecting a good, a good show here. Here we go. Yeah. Hey folks, Damon Baker of the Publisher and Developer Relations team here at Nintendo of America. Okay, it's so... It's hard to believe that it was only a year ago that I was out here telling you all about the amazing games we had lined up for the launch. Is he like Nintendo a new Switch. guy? No, 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 now, it was a I year ago, I won't get all so. wistful on you, but I do want to thank all of our Nindies the content partners who made this last year one Just to remember. a weird name for what Indies. started as a community has grown into a family, supported by the shared passion between independent developers, their games, and the fans who have embraced them. And no one means And I'm happy to say that the family yes. continues to grow in 2018 and beyond. So, without further ado, let's kick things off with the latest addition to the fam. This one might creep up on you. Is that the mark of the ninja? Is no what? It looks like the same style though. It is, isn't it? <clears throat> Dude! Mark of the Ninja's tie, y'all! Wait, is this a oh remastered? Alright, alright. You know what? That's fine. I'll take it. Clay um, Entertainment's critically acclaimed stealth platformer is back and slicker than ever. Mark of the Ninja I will say Mark of the Ninja is actually one of my more favorite games that I've played on the this PC. Modern classic sneak by mainly because I actually played it. Switch this but yeah, I'll be happy for that. I'll be happy for Mark of the Ninja. And Would speaking like of sequel, sneaking but, in, no. should probably introduce the crazy uncle of our department and the head of indie relations, huh? Kirk Scott. So why don't you tell Kurt. me a little bit about yourself? Kirk's the best Thanks, right now. Damon. Well, I enjoy candlelight lunches short walks on the beach, and amazing independent games. That's enough. Uh, okay, let's just get to the next odd one. set of things, but okay. In a world where fantasy meets martial what? arts, anything can become a weapon. And in Serling Games' new fighting game, Fantasy Strike, this rule applies to the wind, fire, ghosts, Wait, gambling, Sirloin's thing? Paint, I'm pretty sure I remember this is supposed itself. to be like a... Sort of like Whether dive kick sort of situation alone, where it just it makes it online, easier to fight games. You can enjoy the nuance. We're rather play fighting games. With simple combos and if that's the case, I actually kind of want to play this game. From memorization to pure strategy. Pass a single yeah, Fantasy Strike. This should definitely be it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantasy Strike comes uh, to Nintendo certain Switch games. This yeah, yeah. I actually look forward to that. Ever bullet hell game? Ah. Neither have we. And that's why we're crazy about Berserk Studios' Just Shapes and Beats. Oh. A kinetic frenzy of deadly shapes oh. and beats from more than 20 This looks cool. Oh, I miss the fire ship. music solo or with up to three friends in this local online This is pretty, pretty freaky dinky. And this just in. There's also what? a full story mode you can take on alone or with your friends. Oh, yay. I love, I love playing story modes in those things. First on Nintendo Switch but Just this Shapes summer. and Beats, actually, that's... that's, that's I'm nice. kind of getting well, a little bit this next game it. will get your heart beating in a different way. Tiny Build Games is lifting the door on Garage, a top-down shooter inspired by the gloriously gory VHS era of B-movies. I'm talking stuff we can't even show you in this video. As you solve the mystery of a gritty underworld, you'll slay hordes of living dead. What does this remind me of? I, I think it reminds me of like the, 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 the Miami thing. Weapons that, that, that Miami alive, shooter thing? Long enough to see the light. 
but Play garage it's just a little too gritty for me. Switch, like literally, it's just it's just not built for me. Just one you know, of the games. That looks exactly like my garage. I could use a pool table though. Luckily, I've got just the thing. Adult Swim Games and Wreckham have joined creative forces to bring us a world where everything from jungles to the deserts heck? to cities is one giant cartoon game of pool. What? Of course, seeking the eight it's ball just a the pool game? Pool. But how will you fare as a clueless cue ball fending off quirky characters? I actually like really like balls, this concept and I'm surprised. And Give Man, me a sports really game that doesn't look really, like a sports really game and you'll have me at me. Give me a sports game that I already like, that I kind of like. Oh, <laughs> then, then we got something good here. I'm going to actually like, like look forward to that because I actually like pool a lot. And trust me, a lot of small ones do too. And I only say that because I was in a lie for a bit. People at Nitro. They just called this beauty as a chicken platform. It's chicken power, man. Action, puzzles, and arcade power man doing here. One explosively fun game. No, that's pretty cool. To escape tricky situations, they stacks the reach up high. That's pretty and cool. And discover secret areas. I actually want to play this. Because it looks like Bomberman, but not Bomberman. Behind fast food giant BFC's signature blue hot sauce. Oh, also, just like the stupid chicken little chickens. This is a big old blurb. Nintendo Switch. This <laughs> He's just a big old blurb, blurb. I am extremely pumped to announce Luminous Remastered, an HD remake so of the there's another PSN games classic just gone. That's really weird. A bombastic harmony of light, I don't understand and why, but okay. Action. Make this game as unforgettable to play alone as it is with a friend in local multiplayer. Yeah, um, on them techno I mean, it's cool that we're getting more rhythm games. We definitely need more. I know HD one of my friends that uh, uh, just sound is going to actually be really happy about all these rhythm games game. that are coming to the, the Switch, because he recently got Nintendo one, so I'm just like, this cool. Spring. Me and Fortune, I don't have a lot of skill for rhythm games. Kings and Queens from Nereal and Devolver Digital, you're a monarch of the modern age. That monarch. means you face a seemingly never-ending series of requests from peasants, allies, and enemies. Your word may be law, but what happens when your choices threaten the balance between influential factions? Your only option is to outwit and outlast those who would seek to overthrow you and your family in this compilation of Reigns and Reigns Her Majesty. For the first time, hmm. you can enjoy local co-op decision-making exclusively on Nintendo Switch when Reigns Kings and Queens rises to power this spring. Certainly interesting. Oh, it's by Devolver. That's pretty cool. What is that thing? What? It seems to react to the boy's presence. Is that? The boy should be cautious. No, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out, I just don't know. Why there's so many things that say they're that thing? Why? I don't know what it is. Why don't I know? Oh, don't you! Oh! Lightfall. I've never heard of it. Why have I only heard of it now? The platforming adventure uh, Lightfall will take you to the forgotten pretty. world of Numbra, where you'll uncover your mysterious past and hopefully save its inhabitants from imminent threat. Master your surroundings by manipulating the Shadow Core, a magical box used to propel yourself into the air and forge your own path. Bishop Pretty Games cool. was kind enough to let us reveal a world debut. It looks Speed like Meat Boy, but a little more action pumps. Because like with Meat Boy, it's just everything's like static, but here it's just like everything's like going to have to kill you, it looks like. Lightfall releases cool. first on Nintendo Switch this spring. First. Oh, so it is new, right? Okay, partner, giddy up, because I'm right behind you with another great game. Ah, West of <laughs> Loathing from Asymmetrics. There's nothing quite like a slapstick comedy, stick figure, Wild West RPG adventure, am I right? As Honestly, you there the isn't. There isn't anything world, like it. One of three character classes. You'll wrestle up a heap of danger, quests, and puzzles. Not to mention jokes, goofs, gags, and mysteries to solve. Too. I really want to play this game because like it looks so dumb, and I love it. More than 50 hats to I love that stupid bit. Use of Oxford I love its art Laugh style. It's so great. Spring when West of Loathing launches as a system exclusive. <laughs> it looks so Street. good. It's so stupid looking. I love Kuda it. It's a co-op exploration hmm? puzzle game from Henchman and Goon. 
It's about two unlikely travel companions going on an adventure within a mysterious mountain. Mm -hmm. Through their unique individual talents, they reveal a magical world within the mountain by working together. This looks like it's gonna be adorably cute. inspired by Norwegian art and culture resulting in a stunning story environment. This the looks, looks really well adorable and cute, also, and I want to play it just nice for that to fact. In the relaxing like, with a friend or family. I feel like we're going to play this game, like, like me and a buddy, and, and just, like, system. we'll just have a, a joy. Piece together the secret history of the mountain when Puda launches on Nintendo Switch. I actually really want to play that. So, some of you may have been following a little game called The Messenger. I am not. Saw, sabotage hinted that there may be more to this platform like than cool. old school. <laughs> I'm a sucker for NES graphics. An amazing feature. I mean, I guess this is SNES NES graphics, but from an 8-bit platformer into a gloriously so rendered 16-bit time traveling adventure. I like Journey it. through this cursed land as a young ninja on a mission to deliver a scroll paramount to his clan's survival. On your quest, you'll find upgrades, new abilities, hidden levels, and a plethora of great speedrunning opportunities. I really want to play this game. Comes to Nintendo Switch How have I not seen the messenger? I really want to play it. Oh my god, I love that art style so the much. It's my favorite art style for like and indies. Publisher Raw Fury are about to pitch you against a Viking horde. Oh so no! Your troops, this looks like tower defense. defenses. Protect your citizens. Inspire their loyalty. And you may live to see peace again. Yeah, tower defense, I'm just not good at. Game, each I'm sorry, just like, forever. Lose it's not even that I don't think this game is bad, because I don't think it is. I think it looks really nice. It's just, I'm not good at tower defense. I get so mind boggled over it. All right, Damon, it's finally time for our last announcement of the day. What? And it is with great pleasure that I confirm that Banner Saga 3 is headed to Nintendo Switch. As the epic conclusion to Stoic's award-winning trilogy of mature, story-driven role-playing games, players will need to brace themselves for more tough battles, difficult choices, it and tragic like, losses. When like Banner Saga 3 but, you know, releases this summer on style. Nintendo Switch. Huh. Okay, what have you then. played the first two games before? Mm. I yeah. can also confirm that Banner Saga 1 and 2 are oh. coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Okay, so you can actually play that. And your personal story, progress, and choices from the first two games oh, are also pretty carry cool. Over. So think strategically. It's got some nice Otherwise, little art you may style be to it. A favorite I love art style forever. like this. Give me that nice well, cartoon folks, animation. That's a wrap. Wow. From all of us at Nintendo, we'd like to thank our was, indie partners for continuing to support the growing library. A little underwhelming, but you know, admittedly enough, literally everything in this direct I did not know about. everyone. So I, you know, that's cool. That is pretty cool. I would have to say, if I were to give it to like one, I would probably do the messenger. The messenger is easily going to be my, my number one choice pick here. But there's a lot of games that I just kind of want to play out, right? Like that Nordic game where I just plays the two little buddies. Uh, Pool Panic looks cool. Uh, Western uh, Loathing is also pretty looking pretty great. Just I like that. I like it so much. Boy, yeah. It's a pretty mellow, mellow announcement, but it's at least another announcement, you know? So I'm happy about that. So yeah, hope you all like this real reaction. And if you like this video, please share if you can. And I guess I'll see y'all later for another reaction. Ugh. Ooh, nothing super surprising, but admittedly enough, I think they blew their load last time, so it's fine. At least I have something to look forward to. The message here looks really cool. A lot of these games look really cool. This is annoying about indie games. There's like, there's so many that come out. And I'm just like, it looks all good. Ah.